Trusting Guidance God's name is Yahuwah or Yahweh or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha or Yeshua or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5:43. Dad, Gracious Lord, I know your eyes are always upon us to guide, protect, bless, and to correct us. You have given us eyes, too. We thank you for the power to use them to see, to truly see. I thank you for helping me to see those you put in our path, really see them with all their hurts, their desires, and their longings, their needs, their joys, and their challenges. As you open our eyes, prompt us to open our arms and open our hearts to offer whatever help and encouragement we have to give. And Dad, we are so thankful for another year, another day, another week, another month that you have allowed us to be close to you. We thank you and give you all the praise and the glory forever. I thank you. I love you, Dad. Study the book of instruction continually. Be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Joshua 1.8 Another translation, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Guidance I have never understood why modern men, especially politicians, don't try using the Bible as their guide for life. They've tried everything else. I have found the majority of human beings need a guide, not only in their spiritual and social conduct, but also in their philosophical behavior. Very few are capable of directing themselves entirely on their own. We seriously, seriously need to get back to doing unto others as we would have them do unto us. A sound head, an honest heart, and a humble spirit would do us all no harm. I have but one lamp by which my feet are guided, and that is the lamp of the Most High, Yahuwah God Almighty. Guidance. It's one of those important things we all long for. We want to take the best path for our lives, the one that leads to success. However, it seems many people ignore or reject the one source for godly direction that never fails. They mistakenly believe that God's word is intended to deny us pleasure or keep us oppressed. However, nothing could be further from the truth. Yahuwah has given us scripture for our good He made us. He understands our limitations. He understands our drives. He understands our faults. He recognizes what will give us the greatest sense of freedom, fulfillment, purpose, and hope. He also desires to teach us the best way to give and receive 
love so we can function in a healthy manner. In other words, he has given us his word so that we can experience the fullness of life he has given us. So don't ignore God's word. Embrace scripture and allow him to teach and guide you through it. In it is the path of success for which you long. In him, you can honestly trust guidance. In him, you can honestly trust guidance. When you pray to him, you might want to say to him, Dad, thank you for increasing my love for your word and thank you for guiding me through it. For your word is the only success I truly long for. In the name of Yahushua, I pray, I thank you, I love you. You be blessed now, you hear?